Good day mga district John here again from Jandam District. Nagkaroon ka ba ng unrecognized charge from Apple or from iTunes? Or may kakilala kang gumawa ng purchase without approval using your Apple ID? O kaya naman, nag-subscribe ka sa isang subscription using your Apple ID at nakalimutan mo nang i-turn off yung automatic renewal kaya ka na charge? At gusto mong humingi ng refund? Paano nga ba? Pag-uusapan natin yan dito sa video na to. Kaya make sure na panoorin mo hanggang dulo. By the way guys, may dalawang options kung paano kayo makakapag-submit or makakapag-request ng refund. So guys, ang first option natin is by logging in sa isa sa mga website ni Apple. At ang website nito ay walang iba kundi ang reportaproblem.apple.com So guys, pag pumunta kayo sa reportaproblem.apple.com, the next thing that you need to do is sign in with your Apple ID. Kapag hindi po kayo makakapag-sign in using your Apple ID, for example, nakalimutan nyo yung password niyo, then you need to reset it. Pero kung hindi niyo po talaga ma-reset yung password niyo, then I would recommend to try the second option, which is pag-uusapan natin later. But for now, let's focus with reportaproblem.apple.com website. Ngayon guys, kapag login ninyo, may makikita po kayo sa top na what can we help you with. Ngayon, select nyo lang po dyan kung request a refund, uh, report a quality issue, or depende po sa case ninyo. But since for example, um, an accidental purchase yung nagawa nyo, click nyo lang po yung refund request and then select nyo yung next reason na I did not mean to buy this. And then there will be option for you guys to select yung mga items or purchases na gusto mong ma-refund. And then after that, i-click mo lang yung submit. So to set expectation guys, meron dyan nakalagay na it will take 48 hours to review the refund request. And to set expectation guys, pwedeng ma-deny yung refund request nyo at pwede rin syempre ma-approve. Ngayon, kung sakali mo na-deny, pwede nyo pong i-access ulit yung report of problem at mag-file ng dispute. Same thing lang din po yung gagawin ninyo. Okay guys, so last option natin or the second option that we have is by requesting a callback or makikipag-chat kayo kung available yung chat support nila at that time na magre-request kayo ng assistance. So guys, kailangan natin mag-access ulit ng isa pang Apple website pero dito guys, hindi nyo kinakailangan mag-login. So, the first thing that you need to do is go to getsupport.apple.com And guys, once that you are at uh, the getsupport.apple.com website, makikita mo tong tell us what's happening, view products, see all products, and find a case or repair. So, by the way guys, pinaglaruan ko yung website para makahanap po tayo ng way kung paano tayo makapag-request ng assistance nang walang access sa Apple ID. So guys, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is select nyo yung choose a product. And then, ma-redirect po kayo dito sa what do you need help with. Scroll down nyo lang, and then makikita nyo dito yung option for Apple ID. Huwag kayo guys magsiselect ng billing, subscription, iTunes Store, or App Store dito, or Apple Arcade. Kasi pag click nyo po yan, it will ask for your Apple ID credentials. Technically, you need to log in. Pero since nga, hindi nyo naalala kung sakali yung... Um, uh, ano tawag dito yung Apple ID ninyo or yung credentials nyo pang login then click nyo lang po yung Apple ID and then click nyo ngayon sa mga options na to is yung forgot Apple ID password then after that there's a question that we need to answer have you submitted an account recovery request select nyo lang guys yung no and then click nyo po yung continue after nyo po guys maklik yung continue, meron dyan options for you to reset your password. Pero kung di mo talaga ma-reset yung password mo after following this, then you really need the refund request or assistance on identifying what are the unrecognized charges on your account. Then you need to scroll down and look for contact. Dito guys, may option na call. Ito yung setup a callback. Tatawagan kayo mismo. And then, meron din ditong chat assistance and mayroon nakalagay dito kung gaano katagal mag-aantay. It will take 2 minutes or less for you to get connected with one of them. So, for call guys, click nyo lang yung call then you need to set up the callback. 
So, dito guys, um, that's what you can see. Philippine, Philippine, Philippine time zone. Enter nyo lang kung or select nyo yung mga available time. For example, enter your phone number. You can also select text a reminder para makaka-receive kayo ng notification na someone will call you from Apple. Then you just need to enter your first, last name, and then email address. And then click continue, then just follow the home screen instruction. After that, good good na yun guys. Antayin nyo na lang yung callback. And then, if isa-select nyo naman po yung chat, um, enter nyo lang po yung first name, last name, and then yung email address nyo. Then, continue. Then, follow the on-screen instruction. And then, merong bagong pop-up window, guys. Doon kayo makikipag-chat sa Apple representative. So, guys, ganun lang siya kadali. Sana nakatulong po itong video sa inyo. If you have any questions, clarification about this video, please let me know by putting it on the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe para maging updated ka sa aking mga latest videos. So, see ya!